We're shaking people back once again for another reaction from Fleetwood Mac's 1977 album Rumors. Once more, big shout out to both Han Solo and Alicia. And indeed, um, as I mentioned before, once we get through this album, there's another album Han Solo's made available. And I have a Greatest Hits album, which I think has at least a few tracks that aren't on either. Uh, so yeah, we're up to the tune You Make Loving Fun. It sounds passionate. It sounds like you could take it maybe on multiple levels, on a more emotional or general level, maybe more physically and um, you know intimately. Uh, but yeah, it sounds like someone who feels like not only are they passionate about this other person, but that that other person's nature or perhaps the way they make love or the way they carry themselves in the relationship uh, makes the person's life, you know, the narrator makes their life fun, it makes their life enjoyable, and it makes that connection, whether, again, we're talking in a more literal, physical sense, or just on a more emotional level, probably both, I would guess, um, that, yeah, it's it goes beyond the strict uh, denotations of the word loving, and it's, you know, it's beyond that, it's um, enjoyable in a way that is exciting, exhilarating, um, you know, makes one feel young, perhaps. Uh, so yeah, I feel like it's it sounds very positive. Now, again, I haven't heard too many of their songs, so I'm still a little unsure of exactly what to expect in terms of the contours of uh, the lyrics, though fair to say I have heard a few that have some complicated emotions, and I also heard um, you know, a couple Stevie Nicks tunes, and when I did those reactions, uh, Mark and a couple others pointed out that <clears throat> her songwriting has a lot of allegory and, you know, imagery as metaphor. Um, so, you know, even though the title seems on the surface just very passionate and positive, there might be more to work here. So, let's find out. This is Fleetwood Mac. The tune is You Make Love and Fun, and it's from the 1977 album Rumors, though once again, this is from the 2004 remaster. I think I may have heard this one too.
like it's both. indefinitely I will say that it was a quick fade out <clears throat> you know people who know this channel will know I have a lot of comments about fade outs um, but the ones that feel like they suddenly just drop off a cliff are the ones that always feel a bit jarring and feel like even if you're gonna do a fade out give it a little more time like make it more clear and gradual rather than just uh, but regardless, amazing. And again, it is one I've heard before. At first, they were like, okay, I recognize it a bit, and then it got into that, um, I, what is it, I've never been one to believe in magic. Um, but basically, yeah, like it got deeper into the song. It's like, oh, wow, like I definitely know this one. I've definitely heard it. And yet, as I listen to it, it's like, it's this totally, you know, enhanced experience, like compared to that, you know, very paltry and uh, facade of a recollection. So... Um, again, it just feels like a band and like as we go through this album, not only that clearly, you know, this album has been everywhere since it came out and so obviously I've heard these songs emanating from one place or another, but um, it sounds like a band just like absolutely like at the peak of their game, everyone bringing, you know, absolute fire, like the guitar work, the vocals, the composition, the, the atmosphere of the tune. Um, the uh, like just the progression like the sequencing the composition um, yeah just incredible so like I said it's another one it feels like it's been the majority of the album like 75 80 percent of the song so far um, I end up knowing on some level though again as I keep saying the experience of going through these reactions is so rewarding for me as well um, so big shout out to all the people who give really supportive comments, um, but know that this, you know, it's a mutual experience where I'm learning through people, you know, pointing me in the direction of different groups and giving me context and information that enhances the sonic experience I've already had. So big ups to all of you. Let me know what you think of this one. I will see you next time. Peace.